Good day, everybody. Rob here at WesternPacificWeather.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, Northwest Pack here in just a moment. But right now, uh, it is uh, currently the uh, 12th of January, 2011, right around 06 Zulu for those of you worldwide here. And we are closely watching this uh, Tropical Cyclone 05P, or Vania. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know so my next update I can kind of get this right. Located approximately 100 nautical miles southeast of Port Vila, a population of the uh, capital of these islands right in here uh, of about 30,000 people there are current OBS out of that region showing about southwest winds about um, 16 to 20 knots right now but looking at that gradually decreasing good thing is that populated city right in there is on the uh, northwest portion of this storm the weaker side of this storm so definitely a uh, pretty good news there now where the storm's going out in the future is down towards the much more populated city here of Numea in New Caledonia here, and that's definitely uh, what we're watching out here in the next 24 hours. Currently out of Numea, we are seeing uh, some light rain showers, uh, some basically northeasterly winds going through the region right around, rain around 10 to 15 knots right now, expecting that to gradually increase by tomorrow, and definitely by tomorrow evening as we start to see the storm make landfall. Looking at overnight on the uh, 13th into the 14th, that's when that landfall will start to happen here, but right here, though, uh, definitely seeing the, some of these rain showers out of New Maya on this webcam right here. Actually been on this road right in here. So let me know a little bit about Cal New Caledonia. It's a fairly small island, uh, very low populated outside of the uh, central city there of New Maya. So uh, that's pretty much the good news as far as that. But that New Maya, it does rest on a low-lying peninsula. So uh, that's one thing we do have to watch here as this storm starts to make landfall. Now here's the official track from uh, JTWC, that's the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii here. I do like using their tracks here, they're usually pretty accurate out in the, uh, out in the uh, western or eastern hemisphere right in here. Um, basically this uh, was showing about landfall on the 13th to 18th, as I said overnight on the uh, 13th. Winds right around 60, gusting up to 75 knots at landfall here uh, from JTWC here. And also looking at a uh, CPA right around 71 nautical miles, CPA is closest point to approximate humidity to uh, Noumea here so uh, definitely uh, have to continue to watch this now good news is Noumea does rest on the uh, lee side of the island here so winds are going to be coming from the north so hopefully that's going to reduce the storm well it will reduce the storm surge considerably as the storm makes landfall with that island there. Now, now I'm showing a microwave imagery here. I really like this pass. It shows most of the storm here, but it really shows this highest amount of precipitation right around this uh, wrapped around center of circulation right in here. Ascat imagery also concurring with this. I'll show you that here in just a second, but also showing you that it's still fairly weak and also you don't have that entire symmetrical shape around this. Most of the convection is in the eastern periphery right in here, a uh, very typical to a weak storm still gathering its strength here. And also really good news is that the over Overall, outflow and inflow with the system is kind of lopsided, so not looking at it developing at the full-fledged typhoon equivalent type storm. Only going to see a max of right around 60, uh, gusting up to 75 knots with this system. If it does get up 65 knots, then it will be up to the typhoon equivalent. But right now, though, uh, ASCAT imagery showing the center of circulation down in here. Now, another thing I do want to note is a lot of the strong winds are actually farther away from the center, right up in here, saying about that 30 to 35 knot range, and right near the center, still relatively weaker, and that's another reason why. Uh, we're still not expecting the system to gather too much strength. Still fairly lopsided. The uh, stronger winds are farther away from the core, but looking at the satellite imagery as we were showing you at the beginning of this update is that it is very well organized and that potential for that center of circulation to gather more strength is definitely there. Now going on to the models here, GFS has definitely been my model of choice recently, just showing at where the current position of the storm is and how it's tracked over the last several days. Uh, GFS definitely beating out many of the other models out here. So right now though, showing that position here towards the northeast of New Caledonia, but as we look out into the future, showing the 14th at 0C, showing a, a pressure reading right around 980 millibars, so fairly deep storm here, uh, located directly over New Caledonia at this time, uh, 0Z on the 14th. But one thing I do want to note is you do have all that convection away from the center of circulation here per GFS so that's another thing showing that storm not really going to gather too much strength near the center of circulation be more subtropical extra tropical type deal but definitely going to be uh compacting a very uh, strong punch rate in here for that island. So here's my uh, westernpacificweather.com forecast as far as the storm goes. Uh, right now, JTWC does hold it farther up here towards the northeast, uh, making that northwest, making that landfall, but I actually think it's going to jog a little bit farther towards the southeast here, given its current position and how it's kind of lingering up there. I actually think it might make landfall down closer to Noumea right in this region, so that's actually going to spell a little bit of trouble for Noumea, and also noting the fact that the stronger winds are 
farther from the center of circulation. So even though you do still have those tropical storm force winds, I think they're actually going to extend out very far, even out here. So most of the islands, uh, I think that we'll see these tropical storm force winds as the system makes landfall. Another thing I do want to note is that we do have the clockwise winds around this. So winds are going to be coming from this direction. So this area right in here are going to be seeing the highest of the storm surge. And most of these islands farther up to the north here, I know they're very low populated, but uh, these islands definitely going to be seeing that stronger storm surge as well as this system passes by. So just one thing to note. Now, as I already noted earlier, though, uh, Nomea definitely uh, it's going to be seeing a less storm surge here as since they're on the lee side of this island here. So that wind's going to basically come around this way. And as the storm passes, they're still going to be coming from the uh, northwest as it comes down farther towards the uh, south here. So that's pretty good news there. Now, one thing I do want to zoom out here and look a bit farther out into the forecast past uh, this storm after it passes over New Caledonia is that it's supposed to basically start going due south here along the subtropical ridge farther out towards the east here. But one thing I do want to know, there's a monsoonal trough just north of Brisbane right in here. And if the system does, for some unknown reason, get wrapped up in that monsoonal trough, it could spell some very bad disaster scenario here for a Queensland, especially that city of Rockhampton has been seeing those bad floods for the past month or so. So definitely something to continue to watch here. I know the cone only extends out this far, and usually it does stay well within that cone. But there is that potential, a very unlikely at most, but still that potential potential for this system to kind of jog off toward that direction. And lastly, if you are my view is up here in the northwestern Pacific, uh, still watching our areas up here. Basically, the Siberian high does continue the ridge into the region, causing uh, basically this overall strong northwesterly winds through the area. Also seeing this uh, basically starting to shift a uh, northeast monsoon in effect here along the uh, Philippines. Also seeing a lot of that convection along central the Philippines here all the way up towards Manila. Still seeing that intermittent lightning as noted the last several days. But one thing I do want to note is by this weekend, expecting another cold surge coming out of Siberia here, uh, being the very strong northerly winds through much of the Ryukyu Islands, down through Taiwan, and even the northern Philippines, as uh, basically a piece that Siberian high kind of breaks off and starts head out here. Actually, we look at the uh, GFS model for the northwest pack here. You can see this strong gradient-induced winds coming in from the north right this region. And one thing I do like to use these uh, this chart right in here is that you can see this 540, 528 lines right in here. And that's really the given uh, thickness for the freezing uh, temperatures. So anything north of here, you're going to be seeing some snow-like precipitation. All this basically ocean effects snow right through here. So one thing I do want to note, basically anything north of this 540 line is going to be very cold along uh, Korea here in northern China and even over towards Japan. Now another thing, uh, basically you have this strong area of low pressure, but extension off of that is going to be the stationary front also still over the Philippines here along with that northeast monsoon so very wet precipitation here uh, just south of Manila all the way down to a uh, mid to now all this entire area still gonna be seeing rain through the rest of this week into the weekend not really looking like it's gonna let up anytime soon there but that is all for today everybody thank you for uh, listening if you have any questions comments or suggestions please uh, post them to the comment box to the right or if you're watching on YouTube you can post them in the comment box here and also email me here at westernpacificweather.com but thank you uh, again for listening please stay safe out there uh, last thing I do want to know is I'm not an official forecasting source for this uh, area down farther towards the south basically any of these areas so uh, and also I don't really forecast too much of the southern hemisphere so I'm a little off here just uh, please bear with me but make sure you always contact or look into your local weather service here as far as this uh, storm goes so thank you again and everybody have a great day bye